friends welcome back to my channel we're gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna start with Halloween and these are all the new ribbons well some are not new but I picked them up so I'm going to haul them so set them on their sides so you can see real quick how adorable look at these ribbons super cute now these two are velvet they had four different colors, but I only picked up the black and the orange. And these measure 2.5 by 1 yard each. And like I said, these are a velvet. Very soft. So like I said, I got one of each on those. And picked up a buffalo plaid. Actually, this is more like a gingham, I think. Ah, it could be buffalo plaid. But again, 9 feet. This one measures 5 eighths inches in, in wide with and then these wider ones this is like a holo harlequin kind of pattern and this one measures 2.5 by the nine feet and they had this one last year and i'm pretty sure they had this one last year as well but i thought this was really cute so i got one of these and i think this one was from last year as well and i know this one was available I know it was available the year before because this one's a little bit glittery and we're going to open it up to see if the glitter falls out oh here we go so let's see i mean it's really cute it's like a delicate like a web look how pretty it's a little bit glistening no i don't really see the no you know what it's not really glitter i think it's just the, like a glistening thread in like that's made with you can see it up close. But it's super cute. So yeah, I do remember using this a couple years back. And then this is definitely a buffalo check. But yeah, cute. And then this one is really cute. Dude, this one's more like a mat. It's not glistening like the other one is. If I could find where it opens, that'd be great. Here we go. This one looks more like a mat. And it doesn't seem translucent. Oh, it's a little bit translucent, but not as much as the other one. But look how cute! I think this one's my favorite one this year. I do not remember them having this one. But maybe they did. I don't know. And then this one, look. This one goes with this one here. Look at that! Cute! And then these are all sequins. In the white, purple, orange, and black. I'm not going to open these. These measure... 0.25 by 144 inches 12 feet each now these are my favorite these are like cutouts i gotta show you these i do not remember them having these last year at all let's see now i like these spools these ribbon spools you know those have diy potential as well okay why do they wrap it like this <laughs> okay oh my goodness but look at this oh my goodness look how cute spider with its spider web in the purple how delicate this is oh i'm definitely going to use these for sure no doubt about it so this one and this one is in pumpkins Let's see if i can get to this one without cutting it there we go This cellophane here. <laughs> it wants to hang on to you. So look, these are the jack-o'-lanterns. Look how cute. Super cute jack-o'-lanterns. Oh my goodness. So delicate. This is like a... I don't know what kind of fabric this is. It's not your typical ribbon, though. That's for sure. And you know what does it say? It just says die-cut ribbon. Die-cut ribbon. Oh! It says 100% polyester, but it's, I don't know, it's different. I just can't explain what kind it is, but it, it definitely feels like more stiff. And this one is just cobwebs. Let's see. Look at that. Really cute. Really cute. And this last one, they are spiders. Spooky, fun spiders. Look at that. <laughs> oh 
my goodness. And I think they also had a skull. I think they had them in two different colors, maybe black and purple, I think. But I didn't get those. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'll make a bracelet. What? Look at this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you know what? One of those chokers. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> Dress up as a witch and make a choker out of some of these. Yes. Maybe this with some sequins on the sides. Potential, potential. Here are some more Halloween items that are new. They had these pumpkins with the it with the orange and black stripes on them. They're giving me Beetlejuice vibes. <laughs> this one definitely is giving me Beetlejuice vibes. Yeah, look at that. And they're just called pumpkin picks. Tim Burton. <laughs> Tim Burton <and> pumpkins. <laughs> I thought those were cute. And this one with the candy corn and these are foam look how adorable oh my goodness candy corn pick and they had these trees they had three different types of these new trees but i really like this one because it's candy corn with the white what's well, more like a cream and the orange and the yellow and they're just called halloween tree but they also had i think the white with the orange and the black and then they had some all black ones. And these are the fabrics. I think I know they had this one last year. This one looks new. I don't think I saw this one last year. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, they put like a plastic on it. Let me do a little snip. Hopefully I don't cut into the fabric. But look, this one's got some cute skeletons. Almost looks like constellations. <laughs> But adorable and these are all crafter square and they measure oh i messed that one up 18 by 21 inches and this one i'm pretty sure this one's new i don't recall this one at all unless i just missed out look at this one. Oh my goodness that is stunning that is so cute look at the pumpkin the spooky the bat with the owl the jack-o-lantern oh my goodness this is so cute even the skeleton is cute super cute this one i think was a repeat but i'll open it anyway with the kitty cats did i just snip that no i didn't <laughs> i'm notorious for snipping the fabrics look at those faces i love the shape of those faces spooky but cute and look at those eyes purple and yellow almost looks like green but no it's yellow cute and this one i don't recall this one either from last year and it's unique because it's gray oh it's gray because the spider is black okay i definitely do not remember this one last year look how cute now wouldn't this be nice with something glow in the dark on there mm, giving me ideas that brain starts working and then these are new these corrugated galvanized metal signs and i want to say they had another one. Oh, you know what they had a skull they had a skull this one is a ghost look how adorable and then this is the jack-o-lantern and the spooky cat but it's definitely corrugated it's got that texture but yeah these are so cute and the fact that they are metal you can use these with magnets somehow so yeah great potential okay i'll be right back with some fall items. okay so here are some of the new fall items and i'm so excited for all of these because these are leather yes what dollar tree really leather look how adorable faux leather pumpkins oh yeah faux leather not real leather faux leather pumpkins this is the orange and they're so soft and squishy oh my goodness so cute and this one in the gray and this one in the brown how high end of you dollar tree oh my goodness and also these leaves look at these cute leaves these are full leather as well and there's another set i'll see it here maybe i'll find it later but i have another set of these the leaf is a little bit different this is more like a like a maple leaf right and you get eight in a pack. Go ahead and open it. This one's not, this cellophane's not too bad. 
I'll take one out. You know what? I'll take them all out. But look, they have this hard little stem and they're so pliable. Look how cute. These are adorable. They have these and then these little mini pumpkins. Faux leather pumpkins. They are little teeny tiny ones. You get five in a pack. And these are the brown. These are the gray. And these are the, the orange. Now they also have these four in a pack. I think they're supposed to be a little bit larger to be four in a pack because this is five in a pack. But I don't know. To me, they seem kind of like the same size. Maybe it's a tiny little bit larger. I'll go ahead and open them up to see, to compare. So here's one of the five in the pack. And here's one of the four in the pack. Oh, um, maybe just a little bit more full. But I don't know. I think I'd rather have five in a pack. They're just different shaped. So yeah, these are more full. But are they worth four in a pack? Compared to five in a pack? So this is four in a pack, five in a pack. So yeah, there's definitely a difference. But still, I think I'd rather take the five in the pack. But if you like them a little bit more formed, more full, then, oop, <laughs> then maybe one of these, four in a pack. And they have the four in a packs in the brown and the silver, and not silver, gray as well. But I didn't pick those up. And then they had these, these are faux leather words. These are in the brown, these are in the beige. And I'll just open this one to show you guys. And you get four in a pack. So you get two blessed and two grateful. And they're pliable. Here's the back. Makes it look like real leather. But these are super cute. Look at this. That is adorable. And then again, these are just in the beige. Same thing. Four in a pack. And then they had these tags. They just call them decor. But you get two in a pack. And this one says grateful, and the little leaf says harvest. And this one says thankful, and oh, that's the wrong one. This one says thankful, and the, the little leaf says grateful. This pumpkin says harvest, and the leaf says blessed. And this pumpkin says blessed, and the leaf says thankful. So yeah, you get two of these tags per pack. I'm super excited about all these leather items. They're going to be fun to DIY. Okay, so here are some of the MDF wood pieces for fall. And we'll start with these cups. This one says spice it up with this cute little bow tie, little ribbon. And they're MDF as you can see. Here's a skew, they just call it decor. But that is cute. You can leave it as is or you going or you can redo it. This one says happy pumpkin season. Again with the same little bow. This one says welcome autumn. Look how thick these are. With the whipped topping and then the straw. And this one just says I love fall. That whipped topping. This is a, I guess, maple leaf. And this one has a J on it, which is my initial. Perfect. <laughs> Cute. And then this little trailer. Look at this little trailer. I didn't see any trucks, but I'm thinking if there's a trailer, maybe a truck is coming too. But again, look how thick these are. MDF. Harvest Blessings, really cute little pumpkin, and then this plaid accents, and this full wood, really adorable. And then they have these cute pumpkin picks, and look how adorable they're like a sweater kind of knit, and they're just called sweater pumpkin picks. So they had this blue one, they had this green one, and this gray one, and this cream one. And an orange one and a pink one how cute are these look at that these are the colors that i found i just had to get one of each because they were so adorable and then these impressed me these are like a raffia to me like a raffia that's braided so this is a brown this is a natural it's got some glue hanging off of it and this is a white and they're just called natural pumpkin picks so i thought these were cute and then they had these mini pumpkins, and these are so cute. Oh my goodness, they're all so different. So this one is a burlap pumpkin. You get five in a pack. This one is the brown, and this is the natural, same thing. A burlap pumpkin, five in a pack. And then these two are 
wool full wool pumpkins five in a pack and they had other colors but these are the ones that i chose this green one and this white one and then this one is a sweater pumpkin in an orange this one's just called mini pumpkins in a white i think they had these last year and they definitely had these last year these buffalo plaid and they're just called mini pumpkins black and white orange and white but yeah and they have a huge selection of these little mini pumpkins tons of colors burlap faux wool just the minis and the sweaters i thought the sweaters were cute and then they had these mini chalkboards super super cute i had to get one of each i think i got one of each i hope i did <laughs> you guys let me know if i'm missing one but this one looks like a little fox mini chalkboard ornaments five in a pack this one they are pumpkins of course chalkboard ornaments five in a pack these are turkeys these are acorns these are squirrels look at these mushrooms oh my goodness so cute and then these are two different leaves really cute and this last one it took me a while to figure it out but i'm pretty sure this is an owl <laughs> i'm pretty sure this is an owl because it kind of looks like a a superhero cape <laughs> but i'm sure that's not what it is because look at the little feet definitely a little owl super cute and then they had these little wood pieces again that i only picked up the mushrooms because i still have some of the apples and the pumpkins and i think they had something else i can't remember but i just got these the little mushrooms so i thought they were really cute and you get eight in a pack how adorable okay here we have some fun decor pieces i love these look at these they have the recipes on them they are just like a reverse shadow box but you can always just cut this out place it somewhere else make something else with it but this is a cherry pie recipe sugar butter cornstarch cherries and of course pie dough to make a cherry pie and then this one here is a pecan sorry for the ring light glare and this one says brown sugar butter pie dough pecans and eggs and light corn syrup and a little bit of salt these are so adorable and then this one here is apple pie and this one of course cinnamon butter pie crust all-purpose flour apples and sugar so cute <laughs> and then my favorite oh my goodness i can't wait for pumpkin pumpkin pie and again sorry for the glare oh my goodness pumpkin pie recipe with the flour cinnamon milk evaporated milk pie crust pumpkin sugar egg and corn syrup you know what i don't put corn syrup in my pumpkin pie so yeah that's where are the seasonings <laughs> okay here we go ginger nutmeg okay sounds good super cute and then they had these little shadow boxes with like the the 3d pumpkin coming out of it this was just says pumpkin spice the cute little background i like this background it's really cute this one says gather this one says happy fall and this one says autumn is calling yes please autumn is calling because here in florida we are dying so hot and then they had these little faux book stacks so two of these didn't have a ribbon but that's okay it's easy to add a ribbon this one says leaves are falling autumn is calling with it's just the white with the leaves falling and then this one says welcome autumn with a little apple this one has a ribbon like a you know what it's not really a ribbon it's just like a paper and a bow it's an orange and white gingham bow i think we could definitely do better definitely and then this one thankful grateful blessed with no accents but you know that's easy to do and this one says pumpkin spice and everything nice same thing it's like a paper accent here and then a bow tie and then they had these galvanized envelopes this one says hello autumn mine didn't have anything inside but maybe there was something inside i don't know and then these beads white and brown and then this other one that just says autumn i only found two different styles two little beads so that's it for these 
Okay, now here are a plethora of signs and frames. They had these trucks, they're different direction. They're both red. Well, this was more like a red. This is more like a burgundy, like a deeper red. And there's nothing on the back. They're just plain on the back. Now, too bad you can't do this and make one two-sided. But no, they're not, they're not shaped the same. So that's not a possibility, but that's definitely what came to mind at first for me. <laughs> really cute with these pumpkins and squashes and these like seeds, pods or something. And then these regular traditional pumpkins and other squashes or gourds really cute and they had these pumpkins they had something similar last year this one says blessed with a metal word and this is a cream and then they had this it's like a blue tint it says grateful and this one says thankful with the orange so these are the three that i found on these pumpkins and then they had these truck plaques this one says welcome and the trucks are raised and they have a little bit of accent with some galvanized metal. So this is the white, it says welcome. This is the brown, this says welcome. And this is the black, this says welcome. And I think the trucks are all the same. They look like, they look pretty much the same to me. It's just the plaque that's different colors. I got one of each. And then these really cute cutting boards, of course. They are chipboard or MDF. This one says pumpkin, pumpkin kiss and harvest, wi huh? pumpkin kiss and harvest wishes. It should say kisses. <laughs> that threw me for a minute. <laughs> this one says pumpkin spice and everything nice with the glitter. Yeah, I think they both. Oh my goodness, glitter, the glitter. Okay. <laughs> and this last one says blessed beyond measure. The glitter okay thank you dollar tree love the glitter and then they had these long signs i only got this one because it had the two twine and a few little beads here and here and there wood beads i thought this was, this was a cute accent and it goes on the back as well but this was just this one just says thanks so I that was cute and it's pretty long i like the unique shape on the top and the bottom cute and then these large tags, they have these for almost every holiday. This one says, there's always something to be thankful for. And this one says, welcome to our pumpkins patch. For some reason, I don't think that S should be there. But okay, pumpkins patch. Pumpkin patch. And they had these wood rounds. So these are great to DIY with. And these just have some pumpkins on them and some acorns and a little raffia bow welcome fall it's pretty good size definitely could DIY with these and let me see these here these are frames but they don't have glass inside they just they're just a frame with it's like a paper and then this piece that comes out and open one this one looks like the embellishment is coming up and I bet you it's the same design on the underside. I bet you it looks like it is. Yeah, it looks like it is. But it is. Well, here we go. Yes. <laughs> so you can actually, well, I don't know. If you take this off, you'll probably ruin the inside. But still, you can do something else with this and something else with this if you want to. So this one says, welcome home. This one says, thankful, grateful, and blessed. This one says, gather together. And this one says, grateful, hearts gather here cute and then these here these are the window clings that i liked they had quite a few different ones this one has a ton of potential little squares and rectangles with different little sayings you know you could put these on anything and then they had this one that's got like a cinnamon bun and some acorns and some cocoa and some mushrooms and some cinnamon sticks and a pumpkin pie yum and then this one they have a bowl of apples and a little treat with some cocoa and marshmallows and is that a fig <laughs> i don't know that's a really cute little teapot it looks like a latte and some leaves eucalyptus it's a pretty little this is a pretty little 
um, vase. I thought that this was cute. I found my other faux leather leaves. Here they are. You can see these were different shaped, more elongated. Some of those. And they had these wood stems again. And these are pretty nice. And they're just called wood stems. So these are more like stumps and these are more like stems. But these are the two that I found. And then they also had these DIY pins. I had these last year and they had all the same ones that they had last year, but I only picked up this one. And then these had then they had these really cute little vases. These are not harvest, but I think they were cute. So I got one of each in the black with this cute race pattern. And this one's in the white. And of course you could change up the color if you and want. Now we have some more fall fun stuff. And here are some really cute th uh, three packs of pumpkins and they are like a velvet. So this one's like a green, like a forest green maybe. I'm not sure what color this is. But you know what? It's like an English ivy green, I think. Yeah. Look how cute. And this one here is a blue. This is a navy. Again, in that velvet. And this one, this one's in a silver, like a gray. Really cute. Three in a pack. This one's like a teal. It's hard to see in the camera. It's like a bluish teal. But again, that velvet. This one's in an orange. And this one's in a mauve. Really cute. So these are the ones that I found. And for ribbon, I only picked up this one ribbon here. It's a burlap, nine feet, 2.5 inches by 108 inches. And I like it because it's got the leaf forms on there. So that's gonna be super cute. I just got the one. I still have a ton of ribbon from last year. And all those ribbons are available again. So I just got the one. And then here's the fabrics that I chose. They had quite a few new ones. This one with the little gnomes. And I'll go ahead and open it up for you guys. No? <laughs> they make these. Oh, okay. They make them a little bit thick. Look how adorable. Oh my goodness. Super cute. Oh, this one has a lot of potential. Might see this one in an upcoming DIY video, just because of the potential. So yeah, super cute. So this one here, and they're all crafter square, and they measure 18 inches by 21 inches. And this one with the little truck. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. Look at that. And this one is just pumpkin forms, and it looks like sunflowers. I don't cut up, open these with the scissors anymore because last time I cut through one of my fabrics and I was not happy. But yeah, look. Pumpkins and sunflowers. And a few little leaves here and there. Really cute. And this one you can see, it's just sunflowers. Super cute for fall. And then this pattern, this plaid. Really cute. I like the gray in there with the orange. So yeah, these were the fabrics that I chose. And I picked up a pack of these burlap leaves. These are not new, but I like these. I used these last year and you get five burlap leaves per pack. And it had a few different shapes, but I, I kind of like this one. And then they had these, these decor pieces. These are just pumpkins with the different ginghams on there or you know what? No, these are buffalo plaid. So this one is the black and white and this is the black and orange pumpkins. And you get eight. So four each. And these are MDF, you can tell. I'll go ahead and open it up. And excuse me for the cellophane, but you know it's going to make that sound. But yeah, you can tell these are MDF chipboard. But they are cute. A lot of potential for these as well. And these are the leaves. Same thing. Eight per pack. Adorable. And guys, oh my goodness, these little mushrooms, these are so cute. So first when I saw them, I thought they were kind of squishies, but no, they're not. So they are like a foam, but they're definitely firm. And you get three mushrooms in a pack, and these are the colors. This brown, this reddish, this orange, and this blue. Look how cute. 
And I'll go ahead and open one to show you guys. And they're pretty good size, but they're like, like a foam. But look how adorable. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. So these are new. These, they did not have these last year, I am pretty certain. And if you guys see, if you guys saw them last year, yeah, let me know. But I'm pretty sure they, they didn't have them last year. So super cute. And then they had these last year, and they had them, they have them again. These mini hay bales. And I once had some of the shavings come off, and all it is is a piece of wood or MDF, and they're covered with the sawdust. That's what these are. But they are cute, and you get eight in a pack. And then these pumpkins here, these are definitely new. Look how adorable these are. So I like these patterns. They're like almost like a sweater type of fabric. And they have these little words on there. These are like a felt. This one says thankful with a couple little beads. Look how adorable these are. These are high end, I think. And this one with the plaid also says thankful. I didn't check to see if there were the same patterns with different words. I didn't check that. So I wonder. And I think they all say thankful. And then this pattern here. This one's more like just a fabric. These are more just like a regular fabric. And this one's like half and half. Kind of like... Two different fabrics thankful again so yeah you know what i think they probably all say thankful so these are the four that i chose i thought they were really cute and if the kiddos want to come over and play with them they won't hurt them at all because they're just fabric and then they had these cute little ceramic or you know what they might be resin i think these are resin these resin little critters and this is a little porcupine or hedgehog uh looks like a porcupine maybe I don't know, it could be a hedgehog. You guys tell me, what is this? Look, he's carrying a little apple. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> so cute. This is the only one I got, but they also had um, a fox and a squirrel and I'm not sure what else. Speaking of squirrel, they had these cute little acorns and these, you get 10 in a pack. And I think these are foam as well, like the mushrooms. And again, excuse me for the rustling, but cellophane is going to make the sound. And look at the little the little acorn caps how cute they're so realistic wow and then this is the foam part you can see a couple little dents in there see that is foam how adorable these are especially for a tear tray so you get 10 in a pack they had these trucks again this one just happened to fall off but these are in the blue and they're just carrying different things flowers sunflowers this little pumpkin has got a little bit blemish on it but you know just paint it a little bit and it's like a wheat and then these green and then they also had an orange set but i didn't pick that up i think i might still have extra of those from last year and therefore in a pack crafter square so i got these and then there's this super cute sign hanging sign and it's look it's just like a pie so these are mdf thick boards they're pretty thick and this one's a cherry pie, it says gather. And this is either a pumpkin pie or a sweet potato pie. So I think it looks more like a pumpkin pie than a sweet potato pie. But this one says give thanks with the whip topping. Super cute. And again, chipboard is really thick. So these are available now. A lot of potential for these as well. And then they had these little pedestals. And they're all, the tops are all pumpkins. So this orange one really cute and this white one and this green one adorable just look how cute oh my goodness that is adorable and not sure if these were part of the fall i don't think they were but i found these these round decor pieces on these stands and they are empty f here's a skew and this one says live love laugh and this one says follow your dreams with these galvanized words so I only saw these two, but I think they also have a black one. I think I've seen somebody else um, haul a black one. But I got those. And then they have these again. They had these last year, these little lanterns. And they light up. Let's see if this one works. Sometimes these things work. And sometimes they don't. Let me see. Nope, this one does not. <laughs> it's got the little thingy where you turn it. Now, I hear the clicking, but it, it doesn't light up. 
But you know, you could just take these out and replace them and then you'll have a working lantern. But these are very handy for DIYs. And I like all the details on the front of these. I really appreciate this kind of work because I don't think I could do that. No. <laughs> and then they had these tall vases. And if you look closely, they kind of have a unicorn oil spill kind of sheen to it. If you can see that. But if you don't like that, you can always spray paint these. But these are tall. And I'm going to get my measuring tape and measure this for you guys. So these measure from the very top to the end. Uh, about nine and a half inches. And the width, these are pretty substantial for $1.25. These are about four inches in width. I only got the one, but they had quite a few. And again, I don't think these are fall items, but I found them, so I'm going to haul them. And first are these, the wreath charms. Oh, it says right here, wreath charms. And this one's in the B, it says scatter kindness. Look how cute. And these measure approximately four inches in diameter. I thought they were cute. They had other ones, they had a bicycle one and a few others, but this is the one I like because, you know, I like the beads. And then they had these plates, and these are just these flowers. I think this is either a peony or a rose, I don't know. This one's really cute though, no, I think it's more like a pattern. And then these leaves. So let me arrange them like this. I found these. Look how adorable! These are so cute! And then I also found the sphere that goes with this one. But yeah, these are super cute. And then they had a sphere that goes with this one. But I'm not sure where I put it, so hmm, maybe I'll find it. I thought these were cute. And here's the sphere that goes with this little plate. Glad I found it. But look how cute. And then last but not least, I picked up these two items from the beauty section. This is just cuticle oil with nail hardener. So I've never tried this before. Hopefully it's good because I really need something good. And this is a nail polish applicator. Let's open this up. Let's see how it works. Oh, it's like a silicone. It's like a silicone, and I guess... Let me see. Oh, it doesn't show. But yeah, I guess you just put the little top on there, and then you just do your nails like this. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And until my next video, stay healthy, safe, and strong, and have a great, great day. Bye-bye.